What's up everybody? Uh, it's been a hot, busy summer for me. Been working a lot. Just got done with vacation Bible school last week. So I haven't fished in like a week straight. I'm not even fishing at all. So I'm planning on doing some fishing tomorrow. And uh, in this video, I'd like to show you how to fish small creeks. At least how I do it. If you already know how to do this, you already know all about fishing, it's probably not going to help you any. But for new people, kids um, that are trying to inter get interested in fishing, trying to find places to fish, this might be helpful. First off, I'm going to do is scout out the area. I'm going to find a place um, anywhere that I can go publicly and um, maybe ask people. Um, just look around, driving around, looking for places. First, find a place to fish. That way you can um, figure out what you're going to need to take. Second thing is get your fishing pole and tackle ready. What I'm going to do this time is, since I had a good uh, ultralight fishing rod and reel, let my um, nieces and nephew borrow it. Never found it again. So I'm going to get another uh, rod and reel to take with me tomorrow. And um, I got a few poles and reels, so I'm not going to go buy one. I'm just going to put one together. This is my brother's, I uh, think, or my dad, somebody's fishing pole. It's been sitting uh, around for years. I don't even know it's been getting used. And uh, it's just a Mitchell reel. It's a pretty decent reel. And, but the pole's broke. So I'm gonna take this reel off of it and put it on a different pole. I'm gonna take this Mitchell reel and put it on this pole here. And this pole, I don't even know where it came from. It's really cheap, probably like a $10 pole. Five and a half foot, medium action, very flimsy. Um, so I'm gonna stick this one on here. All right, I got my reel mounted on the pole that I'm gonna be using, and um, makes a little bit of noise, but it'll work fine. And it's got some old, like eight or 10 pound line on it. I'm gonna take that off and replace it with this trilene four pound, real, real light mono uh, cheap lines, four or five dollars for a roll of this. I'm gonna put this on this reel and pole. And I put a little uh, swivel on there. Just a little small snap swivel. I know some people don't like them, but I like using them the way I can just change between different baits. And it hasn't affected um, catching fish or anything yet. What I'm gonna take with me is a couple of Rebel uh, lures, the Rebel Crick Hover and the Rebel Crawdad. You can get a pack of uh, like three different lures for like 10 bucks at Walmart. Got this little tackle box. It's got uh, just a few sorted things and um, I can carry around with me a pocket or put it in my tackle box. Got a um, couple of hooks, rooster tails, a couple of plastic worms. I'm gonna take a pair of like Gerber pliers with me. Of course I'm gonna take my GoPro camera and um, throw all my stuff in a backpack where I got my fishing pole, my backpack, everything loaded up. The way whenever, as soon as I get off work tomorrow, I can go fishing. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. All right, the creek I'm going to be fishing at today is here at uh, Layman Farms. And uh, Gary is actually going to give me a ride down to the creek. Uh, it's back here going through the field. And um, hopefully I'll we'll catch some fish out of it. Dude, I need one of these for my 27 acres. Yeah, these are kind of handy. Down that way. Well, the crawdad didn't last long. I already got it stuck in a tree. I'm not used to casting it with this pole. So um, now I'm going with the crick hopper. Hopefully, I don't lose this one. There's the first one. Yeah. Good job, Gary. Put me on a good spot.
Got a red breast sunfish, which is really strange looking. Never seen one quite that color of a belly. So strange looking red breast there. Oh, there's another one. That one was right off the bank. Second re uh, red breast, second fish. Small one. Well, catching them, but they're definitely small. This one's a real small bluegill. Third fish in about five minutes. Mosquitoes are sure out. Hello. What's going on? Good. You having fun? Yeah. It looks like it. Is it cool? Can you do this? No, I don't think so. It looks pretty hard. <laughs> They're scaring all my fish away. What? They're scaring all my fish away. Trying to catch a fish, y'all are swimming. Do y'all swim here a lot? Yeah. Uh, there's one. Another one there. Even though those kids are swimming over there, I was able to come over here and catch a little bluegill. What kind is it? Yeah, it's a little yeah, bluegill. You can, have it. you can have it. You can throw it back in if you want to. You can put it in. I, I want to see it. He bought me. He bought me. Can uh, you Finn, your fishing thing? Finn can poke you. No. Mm -hmm. Catch some more. I'm trying. So I fished for like right at 30 minutes. Uh, there were some kids down there swimming in a deep area, splashing around stuff. Caught like four or five, I can't remember exactly, a bunch of little small ones, which is what I expected out of this little, little creek. I'm gonna go one more place. It's up the stream, but there's a bridge that you can drive over and I'm gonna fish in it. I'm probably just a mile upstream from where I was fishing earlier. It's the same creek, but this is a little side road that goes into this industrial park. And uh, there's a little deep hole over here that um, can hold some fish. So I'm gonna try it out. All right, I'm gonna stand back so I can cast in. It's fish not even knowing I'm here. Reeling that creek up real slow. Nothing went for it. Oh, something did at the very end. Something bit at it. Oh, wow, what was that? I thought I saw something bigger in there. I hooked a little bluegill at the same time. I thought I saw something bigger swim off. That's my first fish over here. Um, There's all kinds of little bluegill up there where I was casting earlier um, and just, just nibbling at it, but nothing took it. There's my first one over here. Oh, got a fish on oh, the little finesse worm. Oh, I thought I had a big one at first. Wow, <laughs> green sunfish. All right, well, at least he caught me something else. So, Kirk Hopper didn't catch everything. Little green sunfish. Well, that about wraps it up. So find your place, uh, prepare your tackle, and then fish it, catch some stuff. So um, I fished a little creek today, a little small creek, caught a few fish. Um, sometimes I'll find a little stream like that and it'll catch some bigger fish. Sometimes it's just little things, you never know. So tell me what you think. Uh, did you like that? Do you uh, like fishing in little small streams like that? Have you ever done that before? Did you learn anything? If you got any suggestions of how to improve my video or fishing different things, just let me know. Thanks.